Hey everybody, what's up? How you guys doing? I'm so excited because there are just so many things going on right now. Like, I can't even explain to you, but I will try because, um, you know, I'm really happy. You guys know I love Target, right? Well, they were having, you know, this just all happened so fast. I did not expect this to happen. This was just... Uh, two days ago, I got hired at Target. So about two days ago, this all happened. I went online, Target.com. I applied and, um, you know, I picked a few jobs. Like, they, le they let you select, like, which jobs that you would like to apply for. And I really wanted to do cashier. So I put that as my first choice. And um, I decided to give them a call the next day because I wanted to, like, let them know I was serious about the job. So I kind of got, like, a mini phone interview. And it was, like, on the spot. And it was kind of nervous wracking because I wasn't expecting that but the lady liked me and she was super nice and she's like you know what come in tomorrow at 10 for an interview so I was like okay girl I will see you there so the next day I come in for my interview and um you know there's like 10 other people there waiting in line before me it took a long time like the whole process took like about an hour to even get my interview and then they call you back for a second interview with a different person and that also went really well and I was just thinking oh this is so great like the people here are so nice and she was like you got the job you're gonna be our cashier and I was just so excited like I just had this big huge smile on my face and she was like yay I'm so happy for you we were both just like yay <laughs> together so yeah that's what's new with me I'm gonna be working at Target and of course to celebrate I had to do a Target haul because that just kind of like, you know, that just goes together hand in hand, like Target haul to celebrate. So I kind of went crazy and I bought just a bunch of stuff that I wanted to try. So I'm going to show it all to you now because there's a lot to show you and I don't want to make this haul too long. Okay, so I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of the bags because there's like three of these big bags and they're like all full of stuff. So let's get into it. These first things I got are the Aveeno Active Naturals Pure Renewal Shampoo and Conditioners. Now they're in these like cylinder, um, you know, bottles and there's a few different ones to choose from but I got these because they say that they're for all hair types. I really love Aveeno products and I never tried their hair products so I figured mine as well. And this smells like green apple so I mean it just smells really nice. I'm really excited to use those. Another hair product, it's a hairspray by Garnier and it's the sleek and shine one that's anti humidity and it has it says it's like a four on their scale of strong or not um, but I really like the idea of the sleek and shine especially because my hair is straight naturally like this is just my hair I showered this morning I didn't blow dry it this is how it is like all the time so I figured I could just like you know refine it maybe and just like tame down the frizzies or something with this hairspray I don't know I just like the way that it smells it smells really nice kind of like florally but it's not too strong and it's not like a chemically hairspray because I hate hairsprays that are just so strong that you want to like pass out after you spray it but this smells so good like I just want to keep spraying it for no reason so then I saw this lotion from Gold Bond Ultimate it says that it is for eczema relief and um, it's supposed to protect your skin relieve itch dryness scaling peeling roughness redness and irritation it's fragrance free and steroid free I thought I would give this a try because you guys know that I have eczema and um, a couple weeks ago my neck was kind of breaking out but it went away now and I don't have the redness there anymore but um some I, I've been getting like little patches on my arms like right there I don't know if you can see that one but I've been getting just like little patches randomly and it's bugging me and I they're just itchy and red and you know if you have eczema it's just a pain basically and <laughs> I have another lotion here it's from Vaseline and it is the cocoa butter cocoa radiant I love the lotion so I decided to give this a try and it's like in this cool spray can so this is basically like lotion in a can they have three cents of this, I think, and of course I got cocoa butter because I love the original one. And um, yeah, so it's just like this little spray bottle and you spray it and then you go. Like you rub it in really fast and it's like super lightweight. It doesn't even feel like greasy or anything. It just kind of absorbs into your skin. Like I've been using this for only a day, but so far I really like it, especially for when you get out of the shower and you don't feel like putting on lotion right away you could just do this and like you know be so effortless I guess and um then I got this Aveeno shaving cream it's their active naturals positively smooth shave gel helps you soften your skin and prevent razor bumps it says it's lightly fragranced I didn't see the unfragranced one so I got this and I don't know I just like the can once again Aveeno packaging gets me so we'll see how that goes 
Um, I repurchased my John Frieda Frizzy Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream. I love this stuff. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in like a monthly favorites or something, but basically it's like a cream and you just put a little tiny bit in your hair and it really just locks down all of the frizz. Like I love it for the top of my hair. Um, you know, even the sides of my hair can get kind of frizzy at times and this just really kind of gets rid of all of that and it's it smells fantastic. It's only like $5 too. It's really good stuff. So you got to try that. Then to go with my shaving cream, I got a new Venus razor and this is the one that's sensitive with a touch of aloe and it's supposed to be for sensitive skin and it has five blades on it. I have um, used this before and I really like it. I don't notice um, you know, any difference between the other razors, but I do know that some of their razors, they put like scented soap in them, and I don't like scented soap for my skin since it will burn my eczema, so I just get the sensitive one, and so far it's been working well for me, so I just repurchased it. And um, I got a new deodorant, not very interesting, but I got the Secret Scent Expressions Cocoa Butter Kiss Scent, and it smells really good, just like natural cocoa butter, but it's a little sweet, so it's not like, it's not too annoying, like you don't really smell it when you're wearing it, but you just kind of smell it when you put it on, so I got that instead of my clean one that I usually get, and yeah, it's a nice change, I guess. I repurchased my Neutrogena makeup wipes, this is the 25 count, pre-moistened, refill pack, I have the little box. Um, you can buy for a dollar more you can buy like these in a little blue box and it snaps shut and I have that so I just keep buying these and I keep putting it in my box and I love these they're my favorite makeup wipes like beyond anything I've ever used I also repurchased my Target Up and Up brand makeup wipes because I also really like these too. Um, they do a good job at removing my makeup, but I like to use these more for removing swatches off of my skin and for like just cleaning up all of my makeup that I have on my vanity. And I have talked about these before. They are the Up and Up brand by Target and these are the ones that you compare to the Neutrogena wipes. It says on here to compare these to those. And they really are a good dupe, but I would say I still like the Neutrogena ones better for my face. But these are really good to have on hand just for like removing swatches and stuff like that. I also repurchased this Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub, I, but I really like this scrub. I have purchased it I think twice before, so this is my third bottle and um, I really like the way that it gently exfoliates my skin and it smells amazing, but it's not too strong. It works really nicely for my face. I, I love this stuff. It, I purchased another e.l.f. Studio Small Stipple Brush. I love this brush. I first ordered it off of their website back when I did an elf haul and I ended up loving it so much that when I saw it in store I was like you know what I need another one of those it's so awesome for blending in cream products I normally don't like elf brushes but this one is so good at blending out all of my cream products cream highlighter cream blush bronzer whatever it's amazing I first tried it because Emily Noel 83 suggested it in a lot of her videos and I was like okay if she likes it that much I gotta try it so I'm so glad I did because it's awesome so I went back to the lip smacker section at Target and I got the Dr. Pepper one because a lot of you guys were like you gotta get the Dr. Pepper so I did and Sierra this is like her favorite my best friend loves the Dr. Pepper one so she got one too um but yeah the Dr. Pepper does smell good I remember liking how it smelled um but in real life like when it comes down to the real soda like I totally love coke over everything and um what else ginger ale like Canada dry that's my other thing but I like Dr. Pepper too so I was like I gotta get this next up is this Neutrogena age shield face oil free lotion it's just like a face for your a face for your sunscreen oh wow no okay reverse that it's a sunscreen for your face and basically I got this because I used to use it a long time ago and I liked it because it really just like absorbed into your skin it didn't make it oily or anything so I got that it's SPF 110 next thing is this Maybelline great lash it is the big wand and um, by big wand I mean it's actually like a gigantic wand and I like this one I don't like the original um, the curved brush is pretty good too but this is my favorite one I don't like the lots of lashes one either um, I like this one it's the big wand and it's pretty good stuff this is in the shade very black so yeah I got that just because I hadn't tried it in a long time and I was like you know what I need some Maybelline great lash so got some of that also from Maybelline is this Lasting Drama by iStudio Gel Eyeliner. It says it's smudge proof 24 hour wear. It's in the shade Black is Black. It comes with a little brush, I think. Yeah, it comes with a brush. And I don't know, I, I haven't really heard many people talk about this, um, even though it's not really, I don't think it's that new of a product. I just got it because I wanted to try it out because I haven't tried a drugstore gel liner in a long time. So yeah, I got the Maybelline one. And I think I got some more makeup too. Oh yeah, I got this um, NY 
NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, and I've just been on a bronzer kick lately. I actually used to have this, but I never used it. I ended up giving it away to a friend because I was like, oh, it's going to be too dark for me. And um, th this is the only shade they had at Target. It's called Sunny. I got a few more makeup products here. I also got the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara in the shade Very Black. I repurchased this because my one tube that I used dried up pretty quickly. I think it was just like an older tube. I don't know what happened, but it dried up pretty fast. So I bought a new one. I love this mascara. It gives you really natural looking lashes, just beautiful length and volume. And um, yeah, it really separates well too because the brush has a lot of bristles on it. I need to do a full review on this because it is a pretty good mascara. It's been around for a long time. So yeah, it's just kind of one of those, another classic from Maybelline that I really like to have on hand. Um, the next makeup product I got is this eyeshadow by Shea Moisture. Now this brand was not at my Target. This is in the Whittier Target. When I saw it, I was just so blown away by how pretty it is. It's very shimmery. It's in this, what is the shade? Montana. It's really pretty and you can buy a bunch of these single shadows and put them in a palette. They had like a palette you could buy there but I didn't necessarily like all the colors they had. I just really like this one. This one just was like calling my name because it reminds me of like a deeper Stila kitten. It's like a little bit maybe like five shades darker than that so I just thought it was a really gorgeous kind of taupey shimmery color. I also got a product from Sonia Kashuk. This is their Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color. I have the red one of these, which was my first purchase of it. I ended up loving it so much that I knew I needed at least one more of these because they're so comfortable. They're kind of like a fancy lip butter, like a fancier Revlon lip butter, um, but they don't have glitter in them, which is awesome. I might have to do a full review on these too if you want to see that. Just let me know because I actually also tried these because of Emily, and I know you guys probably hear me say that a lot, but I when I watch her videos, like, I sit down and I make list of things that she says she likes and seriously everything I've ever tried from her recommendation I ended up loving especially like the bite beauty lipsticks for example those have been like my obsession lately but anyway these are awesome too I think this was the last product that I got that was actually makeup and it is the covergirl clump crusher by lash blast mascara and yeah I just really liked the bright green packaging so whatever I don't know why I really got this but I got this Jergens ultra healing lotion for extra dry skin um, I used to use Jergens a lot in the past but some of them have really strong scents to them and this one didn't really smell that strong I know it has a scent in it but I figured this was like a pretty big size bottle and I figured if I didn't like it I could just give it to somebody else or something but yeah I don't know Jergens it seems nice so <laughs> there's that then I got some hair dye from L'Oreal this is I've never tried this before it's the superior preference fade defined color and shine system up to eight weeks of fade defined color and I don't know I just thought I would try it because this looks really black it's called ultimate black so um, I've never really tried L'Oreal dyes before I almost got the foaming John Frieda dye but I figured I don't know what it is about foaming hair dyes but the sound of it scares me so I was like I'm gonna go try this one then I got these Aveeno ultra calming makeup removing wipes it says it's supposed to be gentle on your skin while removing makeup I don't know it just seemed interesting so I thought I would give those a try so I got some more dry shampoo this one is from Pantene lately I've been using the Dove one I really like that I've tried the uh, suave ones I don't like those I have recently purchased my Batiste one I really do like that and I figured I might as well give Pantene a try. I'm slowly trying out all of the drugstore's dry shampoos. And um, I haven't used this one yet, but it has a nice light scent to it. So I'm really excited to try it. Um, let's see what else. I got some sunblock, of course. This one is for the rest of your body. It's not for your face. Well, you could put it on your face, but I like to use specific face sunblock because it's less oily than Neutrogena one. This one is just for everything else, you know. Um, and it says it was a value pack. I think these were both 8 bucks and they're Copper Tone SPF 50 stays on strong when you sweat. And it's always good to have sunblock so of course I got another one. This one is from Hawaiian Tropic and I bought it because it smells so amazing. This one is just kind of more for like fun because it smells good. Then I got this soft soap ultra rich shea butter and almond oil body wash. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work out for me because I mean it is scented but I figured since it's shea butter and almond oil that it's not going to like irritate my skin um, because usually these types of ingredients don't hurt my skin especially cocoa butter lotion like I use that all the time and it doesn't sting me so we'll see how this works. It has a little bit of like exfoliants in it so I'll be careful when I use it but I just thought it sounded so good. I mean it smells amazing. 
I actually used some of it the other day, so that's why it's like <laughs> kind of down a little bit in the bottle. Then I got this Aussie hairspray. It is called Sun Touch Shine High Hole High Shine Hairspray, and I usually, I love the Aussie shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioners, so I figured to give their hairspray a try because I actually, I don't think I've ever tried it. I have tried the Mega Volume one, but that one is too crunchy, so I thought this one might be, I don't know, it's in a different can, so I figured it might be a different formula. I got another Aussie product. This is the 3 Minute Miracle, but it's in the formula for colored hair. Now you guys know I'm a huge fan of the three minute deep um, moist conditioner which is like the first one that they ever made in these little bottles and it's like a cult favorite and I'm one of those people who just absolutely loves it. I always have one of those in my shower but I decided to give the color one a try because it says that it will protect your hair color and you know just helps um, your color treated hair from damage like it protects it so I was like you know what I have color treated hair then I got some more face products I don't know what's wrong with me I repurchased my Aveeno clear complexion foaming cleanser this stuff is awesome um, I really love it because it keeps my skin feeling moisturized but it also does a really good job at cleansing my skin and then I also purchased some two new face products that I've never used before I got this simple smoothing facial scrub and I've never tried simple products so this will be my first simple product and this says that it's going to be good for your skin. The rice granules are what is going to like exfoliate your skin, I guess, and it also has no harsh irritants and no artificial perfume or dye. So I like the sound of that. I haven't used this yet. If you like simple products, suggest me some. Like, what are your favorites? Because I would like to know. There's a lot to choose from at Target, so I didn't really know what to get. I just ended up getting this because it sounded really nice. And then instead of getting my deep clean, which I still have in my shower, I decided to get something new from Neutrogena, and it is the oil-free acne wash but in the redness soothing formula now they have this in like an acne fighting and they have it in the pink grapefruit but those are too scented for me so I decided to get this one it says it's going to calm your redness but it also will uh, reduce it so um, it has aloe and chamomile in it but it also has salicylic acid to treat your breakouts and um, so far I mean it has been working nicely I've only used it like once or twice but it lathers nicely and it has a really nice um, kind of like a clean scent it's not too strong but I mean I don't know I haven't really used it that much yet so far I like it though and last but not least are these Pantene shampoos and conditioners they are the repair and protect with keratin pro now, I have used Pantene in the past, like, um, only when my mom has bought it, though. Like, I've never actually bought Pantene myself because I've been so stuck in my ways with, like, organics and Aussie and herbal essences. Um, I haven't really tried many Garnier or Pantene or Trust Me products, so I decided to give these Pantene ones a try since they smelled so nice. And that's the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of all over the place. I mean, it was just all at Target. This was one big shopping trip. I mean, when you go to Target, it's like, oh, I'm only going to spend $20, and then you end up spending, like, $85. And, and that's just how it goes for me at Target. I really can't control myself. So it's going to be a challenge like working there because I'm going to want to go shopping every day after I get off work. Like it's going to it's going to be hard. Like my first couple paychecks, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be putting them right back into Target where where you know it all came from so we're gonna see how that goes I haven't started training or anything yet so I am very anxious and excited at the same time so um yeah once again thank you guys for being so sweet to me and like congratulating me because I'm very excited to be moving on like in the job world so um you know I haven't started training or anything yet but I'm I'm just so anxious like I can't wait to get in there and just start doing it start um, learning everything and I'm finally I'm just happy that I'm gonna be finally doing something that I actually want to do because um, not that Albertsons was a bad experience but it just wasn't I mean it got old quick honestly it was just it was so monotonous like every day I was like man this is the same like every single day was exactly the same and I'm very excited to be working at Target because it's like my favorite store and uh, that's what I said when they asked me they're like why do you want to work at Target I'm like because I freaking love Target so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this haul leave me your suggestions anything you want to tell me about at the drugstore even if it's not sold at Target like I would still want to hear about it but you guys know me like I go to Target so many times I go to all the different ones you know like I'd be going to um, Ontario, Moreno Valley, Whittier, like everywhere. So I'll probably see you guys there. Like if you shop at Target, you'll probably see me because I'm there all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and as always, thank you so much for watching.